Hi, so today I'll be teaching you six things to do after your college degree. One, build your LinkedIn profile. Every public health student should try as much as possible to build LinkedIn profile because LinkedIn is known for a professional network. Then again, you can connect with um, alumni of your school. LinkedIn is very easy to use and navigate, very easy to build connections. Two, number two thing, use your school career services. Once you're done with your degree, your school career services, they will help you with um, interviews, cover lights, um, cover writing. Um, they will help you with interview preparations. They will help you with CV, your CV. They will help you with um, alumni base. They have an alumni base um, connections that you can use, make use of. Then number three thing you should do after school, get yourself a domain. Yes, I mean domain in your name. Start blogging on your area of interest. Don't wait till you get a job. Start talking about your area, areas of interest, what you like about it, you know, what can be done better. Start blogging because you know why blogging is going to help you. WordPress specifically helps people with search engine optimization. You know, imagine you apply to um, an organization and they want to do a background check. Imagine they put up your name on Google. You as a blogger that owns a domain, your name is going to pop up. They're going to see all the work you've done. It's going to help you, you know, with your um, job. It's going to give you more, um, is it more credibility than others? Because, you know, there's something you have done. It's going to build up as part of your experience. Number three, I think that's number, number three now, number four, it should be number four or three. What you should do is you should um, take mentorship seriously. Yes, find your mentors, find mentors, people that have gotten the results you you wish you, you get, you know, the results you want to get, let me put it that way. Please take mentorship seriously, how to get mentors. Try as much as possible to join Facebook groups, attend seminars, attend conferences. These are very, very important. Take mentorship seriously. Then for personal development. Yes, personal development. Try as much as possible to, you know, join all these clubs hosted by your school. Let's say, for example, you graduated from University of Houston. University of Houston probably is going to have maybe a, a public health club. Join those clubs. It's even going to help you in your search for mentorship. Then six, try as much as possible to get volunteer opportunities in your area of interest or internship. Volunteer opportunities is going to help you build your experience. They're going to train you, you know, so you need for public health. You can't even function without we without uh, not that you can't function. You can't get a decent job without prior experience, you know, so try as much as possible to get um, either volunteer or internship and start applying in your third year. Let's say, for example, your program is four years. In your third year, start applying for, you know, internship opportunities. So by the time you're done, you know, you can get something doing and start building those um, experience. I hope you've been able to learn one or two things today. Bye. Thank you, guys.